all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing the protect the vip game mode in siege i don't think anybody's done this before so we're going to be testing it out today we've got to have dkt as our vip for the blue team and attack is going to be playing monty only for their vip on defense we're going to have jay as the other vip and he's going to be stuck on clash so the entire objective here is to keep your vip alive whoever kills the other team's vip wins so i'll see you guys in round number one all right round number one has started here and dkt is with his team of course and they're going to be pushing towards bunker right now but we are going to have king prone on the bunker door trying to grab an early kill he's going to shoot the vip for the blue team but not quite able to do any damage as of course he's got that shield up now the vip for the orange team actually pushing up and being very aggressive and he's able to do this because well he's clashed he's got that shield to hide behind the c4 is going to be thrown out by graham cracker but he's going to be downed and i didn't even notice it but doc for the orange team is also dead so the blue team definitely in a good position to win this round you can see that the Cade or the excuse me the line is just trying to watch the Cade who is down but the clash able to cover so that they can get the res off very impressive right there but it won't matter is lion's going to take him out anyways now jay the vip really actually carrying his team right now and it looks like he might die he's able to get up from the air jab and get that shield back behind him but he's got to be careful because it looks like leo is priming another air jab and he's going to throw that right onto the position of jay rug going for the c4 right now but he's going to miss unfortunately in the vip for the blue team is actually going to start adsing maybe not the best decision is if he dies the round is over for his team jay's gonna rotate back into sight and they're gonna make the decision to reinforce off elbow which i think is a good choice but off camera fenrir able to grab a kill and now the blue team pushing into freezer and the vip for orange team able to spot this out and is going to hit them with that clash shield but here we go dkt and leo pushing in to bunker right now trying to take elbow a minute left so they've got plenty of time but no hard breach gadgets for either of these players so they will not be able to open up that wall rami above with ace and they're going to be using those charges to get the hatch open and now looks like ace is going to be pushing down at main stairs going to be doing a little bit of damage onto fenrir as grug off camera is going to grab a kill to rami and now both vip is still alive 3v3 30 seconds left though so this round is strongly in the favor of the orange team but slurpee's gonna run in grab a kill into grug and now it's a 3v2 make that a 3v1 as leo grabs another kill the vip the last remaining player he's gonna have to get aggressive here vip versus vip right now the plant's going off slurpee's gonna get that down and dkt will take out the other vip what a great round for the blue team all right we're going to be starting on round number two here and the orange team has decided to go upstairs to the kids dorm site and i think that's a good decision the blue team here is going to be making an aggressive push in towards attic ace has already opened up the attic wall and he's pushing towards this window right now with the help of lion who's going to be droning him in right now they're going to spot out that the orange team vip player is playing inside of attic but grug is going to be able to get a kill and take out that ace player who was on the attic window but wow the vip for orange team going down to below half hp as leo on the nomads able to shoot through that trophy wall into attic but two big kills for the orange team now putting the blue team in a tough spot as the vip and the line are the last players remaining but a, oh no a thorn trap is going to come out and that's going to take out the line the vip is the last remaining player he's gonna have to get aggressive with the pistol no players to protect him he's gonna be in a rough spot but a claymore kill is gonna come out from rami from the grave and dkt able to grab a good kill onto whoever that was and now a 1v3 is left a minute and 30 seconds dkd has plenty of time but it's not gonna matter is grug with that goya 1.5 is able to take him out and the orange team able to tie things up one to one all right round number three has started here and it's going to be an aggressive push coming out from the blue team you can see that leo's cooking these candelas but oh no the vip will walk in front blinding the whole team here and now 
King able to shoot in these fires, stopping this aggressive rush from the blue team. Very well played and well placed utility coming out from the orange team. But here we go. It's going to be a VIP off as DKT is pushing in, but he has no electric shield like Jay does. So he's not going to be able to do any sort of damage here. Now, off screen, it looks like Lion is taking a lot of damage as he's going to be trying to push onto these tower stairs. As Rami on the Nomad is going to be pushing the front side, but Doc's going to be trying to stop him from doing that, doing a lot of damage onto him now, putting Rami onto 1 HP. Looks like Lion and DKT are going to meet up, trying to push down these stairs potentially. Two players on the blue team going to be on extremely low HP, but the Doc is going to go down. For orange team as leo pushes down the main stairs and takes him out no one's watching the front side and there's very minimal utility here as well graham's gonna grab a kill onto rami so there goes the nomad some thorn traps gonna be placed on the back stairs forcing dkt to back up temporarily but now they're gonna be pushing down the stairs but king's gonna be trying to stop that with the fire gadget doing a little bit of damage onto the vip but He's going to be just fine for now. But Leo aggressively rushing into sight right now. He's on the VIP. This could be the round right here. Smoke grenades are going out. Graham's going to grab a kill. And now Rugs pushing in towards the rotate. Trying to find this kill. But it won't happen because Leo wall bangs him. King taking a ton of damage now. Being forced into bunker. Jay, the VIP is going to go down. And the blue team wins. Blue team wins. Reloading. The VIP falls for the blue team and or excuse me for the orange team so blue team wins there it is an ace for leo taking a look at the scoreboard leo's going to be leading the blue team six to one second place only two to two and the orange team definitely playing a lot more consistent throughout the entire team but they're going to need to step it up if they want to bring this back but with that last round, we are going to be swapping sides. All right, we're on round number four here. It appears as if the blue team, or excuse me, the orange team thinks that the site is downstairs. So Jay's going to be joining this out, but he's going to realize very quickly that the site is actually upstairs. And with the side swap, we're going to have the VIPs playing the opposite characters. So we're going to have Jay on Montaigne now and DKT on the Clash. So we'll see how they perform on the swap sides now. Honestly, the orange team really not playing as together as I'd like to see is they're down in round count right now and they really need to protect Jay and play off of him or the round is not going to go in their favor. You can see on the blue team, all of the players are hovering around DKT exactly how they should be. From the orange team, everyone is very spread out. So we'll see which strategy is going to end up working. Claymores are being placed in the basement. I'm really not sure what the strategy is here coming from the orange team they need to get some walls open which going to be taking most of their hp not even really sure how it appears as if they're going to be trying to go for maybe an attic take but with no hard breacher they're not going to be able to open up the wall they've got a thatcher but no hard breacher classic plays that means our blue team's going to be sitting in sight patiently waiting but you can see we do have which repelled onto the kid's window. They're going to be trying to grab a kill here, and they might actually, they're going to do a little bit of damage onto a few players in sight, but it's not going to be enough to take anybody out. And now, which going to be downed as they try to repel back up to the roof. So Graham's going to have to repel up and pick them up. Air jabbing off the attic window, trying to stop them from re peeking it. But here we go. Jay is dead orange team losing again as the vip goes down we really need to see the orange team playing more together here or they're just going to keep losing these rounds all right another flawless round for the blue team and now we're going to be on match point so we really need to see the orange team playing around their vip all right it is match point here it's also round number five and we're going to have jay the vip for the orange team pushing aggressively in towards bunker and this time he does have more of his team with him so we'll see if maybe they could pull this game back Fenrir are going to be trying to throw some of his gadgets out there towards bunker to slow down the push and we're also going to see dkt aggressively on this door we can see that there's Fenrir's and wamai's on this bunker door here slowing down the orange push for sure and 
Jay's gonna keep repeatedly taking damage here from DKT with no punishment unless the rest of these orange team players push in and do something about it. You see that Buck is above and narrowly missing a kill into Leo, somehow not even putting him on half HP after that. But fortunately, they do have the hatch to play off of. DKT, honestly, in a rough spot because of that. He can't rotate back to very many places because of the hatch. So he's going to be trying to push back towards elbow. And we can see the rest of the orange team players trying to throw their utility in, take out these ADSs, take out the Wamai disc, and possibly throw in some air jabs to knock over DKT. But he's already pushed all the way into elbow behind the shield. And Wamai's throwing in some more discs. So that is not going to happen. But Buck looks like he might be primed for a drop here. Minute and 20 seconds left. They're going to need to make a play here pretty soon. Still three players inside of elbow. And here we go. Henry going to flank Z Hall, take out Buck. That's Slurpee getting a first kill for the blue team. He's going to take a little bit of damage on that dock, but he's going to instantly heal up and hopefully heal Leo as well as he's pretty low himself. A standstill for the orange team is they're struggling to push in. Leo's going to grab a kill after he just got healed from the dock. Now, Jay realizing they need to rotate. He's going to be pushing away from elbow, possibly trying to push the front side instead and see that his teammates are attempting to rotate off with him. Jay inside a back tower going for these stairs. I'm not sure if a three man power stairs push is going to work with all the different angles that the defenders have to work with here. But we'll see multiple air jabs knocking down Rami inside of bunker, but Beach going to grab that kill. And King goes down. No more Nomad. Jay all the way down in bunker right now. Oh no. Grug tried to help him. But it's not going to happen. The C4 comes out. And the VIP goes down for the orange team. Blue team taking it 4-1. to one. We're going to shuffle the teams. And go to map number 2. Alright ladies and gentlemen. We are back with map number 2. We're going to be starting on border here. And we've got the same VIPs on each team. And the same operators. But we did shuffle the teams around in an attempt to make things more fair. So we'll see how this game goes here on border. It looks like our blue team is trying to make a push outside of the armory bout. We can see that Sludge has that Master Chief skin. Absolutely sick. Slurpee though gonna take a ton of damage as the blue team players are gonna push him out of CCTV and force him to go back to metal and get healed up by Leo. He's gonna be put back onto full HP and don't you just love Doc? DKT, our VIP, trying to push outside of Armory. Trying to see if CCTV is clear. It seems like they're really not sure just yet. Jay, though, the other VIP player playing on the Armory door here. C4 is going to come out from Warden to clear that Claymore. And now Jay is going to be trying to do what little damage he can with that electric zap onto the blue team here. Lion, though, is being a little bit sneaky, and he just went from CC to Fountain very quickly, but it looks like Goyo's going to realize that and take him out. Good kill by Grug, and now things are going to be a 4v5. Rami's on low HP as well, but both of our VIP players are still full HP, and that's really all that matters here. No real strategy coming out from the blue team yet. They want to do an armory take, but the problem is they don't have a hard breacher and DKT does not have any hard breach gadgets. So there's no way for them to push armory. But here we go. Fenrir is going to be pushing on this east balcony. Forced to drop off though as he realizes the VIP is going to be sitting there with the Monty blocking that door. But unfortunately, Slurpee just blocked himself into a corner. He does have the shotgun to potentially shotgun and rotate out, but... Having to reload that's going to take a little bit of time and that's an opportunity for this blue team players to possibly push him. But it seems like they don't want to and with only 30 seconds. They really don't even have the time to now. So they're going to be forced to push into this Fenrir inside of office. Nobody's clearing it and this could be bad. King and Rami go down. It's just the VIP and Graham on that dock. Taking a look at Jay, he's just staying alive inside of the small offices. He knows as soon as he dies, the round is over. For some reason, Sledge going for the res there. The VIP able to pick up two big kills, but he's going to get taken out at the end by Grug. And a good round from the orange team, but taking a look at the scoreboard, we're going to need to see more kills and more coordination coming out from the blue team as DKT 
is the only one getting kills as the VIP, which cannot happen. All right, you can see that Jay is just sitting in the back of sight right now. He's doing exactly what he should be. He's just playing slow. Now, we really need to see more players together on DKT. I feel like the defense has really been where players are winning their rounds here because I feel like these players don't have the coordination needed to push with a Monty. At least that's what I'm seeing, but I could be corrected here as it seems as if they're all together finally. So we might see an East take coming from the blue team here, but you see that Slurpee is still setting up the site. Covering Jay, who is also back in sight. The rest of our orange team players are kind of roaming and holding the rest of the map, trying to deny any sort of map control here. All of our blue team players are actually pushing together, but they're using DKT to drone in right now. They really should just have him walk in or have someone else drone for them. But he's going to spot out the uh, warden player who's playing upstairs inside a fountain, and that's going to be shocks editor take it out rami there we go one last player for the blue team now and dkt is going to rotate in to try to help his team shield extended king's going to go down as slurpee picks up a kill and dkt cannot afford to ads here he really shouldn't even be trying to take this fight he should just be pinging the dock which honestly they should be able to take out here Graham's going to rotate over, possibly try to fuse the bottom of these stairs, but nobody is even there, but possibly using that to clear out some utility. Fink is going to take a lot of damage as there is a player inside of office still, and oh no, round over the orange team's going to win as DKT goes down. The VIP, VIP player for the orange team falls, and that is going to be round number two going to the orange team. All right, here we go with round number two, and it looks like the blue team is going to be pulling out some more shields. They've got Osa with the shield out, Blitz as well, and of course, the VIP DKT on Montaigne. So we'll see how all these shields end up working for the blue team, but Aruni here inside of Supply going to be taking some gunfights onto those shield players right now, possibly trying to take out this Blitz, but the shots are going to miss for now. That shield covering him. Now Rooney's going to fall back to this melee hole. Just hoping the Blitz ADS is in there. It is. Why would Beach do that? Leo grabs another kill. The Doc able to heal himself back up from 1 HP. And Rami goes down for the blue team. So 3v5 already. Not looking good here for the blue team whatsoever. Graham going to throw some flashbangs in. That's going to take out Jay. Wow. DKT able to take out Jay. The round is over. Orange team loses and blue team finally able to win a round here on border. Love to see it. DKT going to take out the last player. And with that, the blue team picks up their first round and we're going to swap sides here. All right, we're on round number four here. And of course, we have swapped sides. So Jay's no longer on the clash. He's going to be on the Montane and DKT is going to be on the clash instead. Take a look at the scoreboard. DKT still leading his team with kills right now. So hopefully the rest of the blue team can start to pick things up here. Oh, we're going to have an aggressive push as Slurpee's going to place down that Osa shield and instantly get taken out by a Thorn Trap. But the Capital Bolt's going to do a ton of damage onto Beach. Actually not doing too much, but going to definitely stop them from being able to counter this plant as Leo is planting in the smoke right now underneath all of the Candelas as well. Jay's in here to try to protect him, and Orange Team has got the plant down. Grug's going to get a kill onto Beach, so Thorn goes down. The Cadella's blinding out the Blue Team VIP player, and, well, it's not looking good for Blue Team whatsoever here. Capital on that AC window, holding down any sort of rotates. DKT trying to damage the VIP player, but it's not really doing much now we're gonna see a drop and they're just trying to kill the vip players they know if they can take him out they can win the round king's doing what he can he's outside and there it is wow dkt goes down and blue team wins it or, or excuse me orange team wins it actually who won that who won that who won that who won who won, who won? which vip died first wait which vip died which vip died first I couldn't even keep up. Attack should have won that. All right, it looks like the orange team is setting up for another aggressive attack. They've got the ying again, but I don't think they're going to be pushing east this time. They're going to be stuck trying to deal with Rami, who's inside of break room. And 
Looks like Jay's just gonna walk right by him, not wanting to get taken out that early. Are the VIP player on the armory door? And it looks like we could have a VIP off right now as both VIP players are right next to each other. And well, the orange team doesn't know it, but there's pretty much no one on armory holding this right now. They could basically just run in. Rami still inside a break room. He's gonna see Leo running by, but won't be able to take him out just yet. And wow. Two big kills coming out from Shock Center and DKT goes down. So the orange team is going to win this game. GG's. I think that was a 4-1 each round. And they're going to go for the plant. Try to find King to get this last kill. He's outside and there it is. Leo takes him out. The orange team wins 4-1. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let me know if you guys think Ubisoft should add this to Siege. If you guys like this let me know i'll do it again with some higher rank players thank you guys for watching consider joining my discord if you want to play in these videos it's completely free the link is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one